Thursday. Um, what are we doing today, Mel? We're at the beach. We're at the beach. What we're actually going to do today, uh, we're down at the beach right now uh, at Corumban with Mally. We're going to drop into CrossFit About Life. Um, so they're up north end of the Gold Coast and I'm going to do a session with Sean Keith up there. So last couple of episodes, I've done some drop-ins and classes. Um, today I'm actually going to be training with Sean Keith be really fun because today will be more sort of competitive style training. The whole reason we come down the Cold Coast, so we've got an excuse to do all this. I'm actually going to Alpha Fit headquarters today, picking up some equipment from them uh, that we're going to use in the calisthenics comp I'm posting on the weekend. So head to Alpha Fit after the beach and then we're going to rock down to About Life CrossFit. <laughs> DJ Booth looking out over over the gym. exactly his personality. Super charismatic dude, but you follow him on Instagram, you know he works hard, you know he supports his members. I'm gonna put everything up on the screen as we as we get into the session. Um, but we've got a fair bit on today, um, so stay tuned. The way we met, actually, Sean's a sponsored athlete by, with um, Prana On, and I do a little bit of uh, work with Prana On, um, with Fitness Expos, and helping them out with promotions and stuff. So it's actually awesome to come down and, and check out his gym, which is freaking cool, man. This place is awesome. Hopefully you can hear me talking because it's so damn hot. We've got the fans going and a lot of music going, but I'm just getting warmed up and the legs going a bit. We're gonna go straight into some squats, I think. So straight into squats, get some blood going through the legs. I'll do a bit, a little, little bit of mobility and we're gonna get straight into it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.
Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. wants a big leg day burner. Whoa. Bike onto box jumps and squats. You gotta finish with 30 calories on the bike at the time. Ooh. Ah. Hey, so let me come down. I'm impressed by your gym, man. This is like, this is probably the third gym I've done in the series now. Yeah. I was gonna drop into a class. Yeah. But I feel like we got to connect on a better level. This way, anyway. Nah, it's like, that's episode two, anyway. <laughs> episode yeah. two, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I did a couple of questions on Instagram. Yeah. I got a few from people, all right? Easy. Um, <laughs> and this, we've got a couple, this is good now because you take the training seriously as an athlete. So, yeah. what recovery techniques do you implement to maintain consistency and gains? A whole lot of mobility. Yeah. So, I got to the point of where obviously everything was plateauing and a few different coaches that I seek out that were just like, too much mobility, mate. Yeah, yeah. There's so many memes on yeah. about people that don't look after their mobility. Exactly. Yeah. And like, yeah, I came with the emphasis, um, we are straight out of footy, and I was so tired like this, yeah. walked out early, muscled everything, yeah. and then yeah, numbers didn't move, I got upset, and I just <laughs> seeked outside of my comfort zones, and then yeah, they were just like, you need to stretch more, so implemented that, and that's why I did the whole year of yoga, and that really opened up um, my numbers, and then everything, that's just built my foundation from there. Cool. Um, yeah, the usuals, we just got the ice bath here today, of the other week. Um, we got this place called Rigs of Recovery in Bundle, go there as well, and yeah, a whole bunch of swimming. Whenever the body's just swimming, yeah. Tense, it's like, okay, don't do anything to do with weights. Yeah. On more of an affiliate side, because yep. that's the whole point of this, my concept. Yep. I want to go and visit gyms, see the gyms, yep. see the people, see the owners, all that sort of stuff. 15,000 gyms in the world, right? Across yep. the gyms or whatever. So, an endless amount of stories. What is your community about? Um, Very vague, big, big open-ended question, but what, what's your community about? Uh, community first. Um, what I've tried to build around here, we go by the whole, um, 
uh, less ego, more amigos. <laughs> so yeah, we really like that saying. It should be on a t-shirt. Yeah, and like, I wanted to put it on the wall and everything, but it's probably not something you normally see on a wall, and not everyone would get it the way that I wanted to get it. So, um, especially, and this being completely honest, when I first started CrossFit nine years ago, at the casual, straight up footy, had an ego, muscled everything, injured for two weeks after every comp and like just thinking really like that process or how I was being coached because I was just a typical stereotype oh he's played footy before he'll be right never even yeah. learned cleans or anything yeah. so I kind of went down the bad route and I don't want any of my members to go through that route as well because mm -hmm. that's a long mother journey yeah, dude. <laughs> and mm. yeah I've just really implemented that like everyone will say hello to everyone and there's no ego here if there is I'm quick to pick up on it or quick to call it out and, yeah. and yeah it just seems to work and obviously it extends from me and everyone just follows suit from there so you read my mind because the next question was if you were doing it all from scratch what's the one thing you do differently and so that pretty much yeah. covers it right mm. yeah exactly. fix the community fix yeah fix the way people approach training as well so yeah definitely and um yeah have it stem from the community but give everything purpose like i've noticed the difference in terms of just explaining purpose by certain workouts or certain movements yeah how it's applicable to life and then everyone has the light bulb moment yeah. and especially when you're trying to cater to so many different characters yeah. and their traits you need to be able to kind of adapt to each individual and say okay you need to be challenged you need facts you need encouragement and yeah. you obviously apply to, like this profile that you yeah. have to kind of apply each manner to every person yeah. Yeah. and that seems to work really well everyone responds a lot mm. better like that. so you're an l1 trainer yeah are you a pt or anything like that yeah or, yeah, yeah. Cool. um what's been your one greatest moment as an affiliate owner um I still don't really get the chance to sit back and actually see what's happening <laughs> until someone else is taking the class and yeah. just so caught up in the moment. But just seeing how this place has evolved and I think the most humbling part was when I made the transition to open this part and we had six months of doing outdoor training. Yeah. I had a whole gym following outdoors and we had like 70 people in the park. And <laughs> That was probably like, That's so cool. based yeah. on like yeah. loyalty and yeah. like when we obviously got keys for this place, like we were set and we were covering rent from day one and that was a big relief and a really humbling moment mm. for me to kind of say, okay, this is your journey, this is your path, yeah. stay on this path and obviously serve these people to the best of your ability and it's been game changers since then, like if I couldn't care how much I get paid, like this is like a passion and like the way I see people come in and leave in a different manner and how I turn up and leave as well. Yeah. Same scenario, and I think it's reflective of everyone that is here. This is why you have to come back yeah, and check out the class like, and yes. the community. Yeah, I get it too because you said you came from like industry and I came from construction too. Yeah. It's, it, oh. it, it, it shits on the feeling you get at what you're the hideous. Oh man, yeah. the, 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 the emotional feedback you get from exactly. the, this sort of work is amazing. Yeah. 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 Um, We've got a bit of a drive home. Where should we go and eat before we go? Uh, Marathai. Marathai? Mm -hmm. but I've seen the place. stickers everywhere. Yeah. What our, is it? Our proud sponsors. <laughs> yeah. Um, but is it they, Mexican or something? Or what is it? Nah, no. they do everything. Lunch, everything. breakfast. Okay. Um, but they cater to us plant-based people. And um, But I think that might be closed. So my next plant-based option is Kana in Southport. Yeah. Cool. We'll check Some it out. We'll get feet. something before we go, I think, Mel. Yeah. Um, Mm-hmm. So cliche, but to what I want to get this uh, video series off the ground. So make sure you like and subscribe, follow my Instagram pages, all that fun stuff. Um, I'm probably going to do this even if you don't do that, but please do it. Um, thanks for having us again, man. Easy, bro. I'll be my down pleasure. again soon. See you guys in the gym. Yes. Are you listening? Damn.